what's up everyone, Throw Fabius here, and today what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over a little bit how to uh, catch troll for trout. So um, I want to show you guys a little bit about what we're using here. We have two rods here on the left hand side. We have a rod that is a uh, spinning reel, and then on the right hand side we have a casting reel um, and rod. It doesn't really matter uh, really what uh, rods you use, they both work just great. Your uh, main thing that you want to work on is trying to get the speed dialed in. Um, we we you want to be trolling at about one and a half miles an hour. Uh, these little Mancotas work absolutely awesome. Right now we're on my 16 foot uh, drift boat, and on this one we have it um, on it's like about 45. It's right in between 30 and 50, and that's about a perfect speed. Um, on my wife's rod here, this is a spinning rod setup, and we have a. This is a, uh, a gang troll, and then behind that we have a wedding ring. These are the wedding rings that we're using today. What's working really well is chartreuse. Uh, we have a couple fish right here. Go ahead and show you guys. Really nice stock rainbow trout. Um, let's go ahead and go over the setup. My casting rod, and this is an eight pound test. And then we have that gang troll that goes down like this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go at, go ahead and we're gonna grab uh, one of our wedding rings right here. I already have this one out. You're gonna want a shorter leader. I usually do about a foot and a half to two foot leader. I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut right here. There's lots of different ways to rig this up. You can also not use a bead chain. You could use a, uh, like a, one of these uh, Swaggy Wobblers. This is a local company out of Vancouver, Washington. Um, awesome little company. So uh, what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna go ahead and tie it directly onto that barrel swivel that's on the other side. We're gonna do about six wraps here, just like this. And then we're gonna go ahead and wet our knot. Just like that. Boom, there you are fishing. You got about a foot and a half bead chain, that's all you need. If you want to get it on uh, to go a little bit deeper, you can add weight to this end right here. And I'm going to go ahead and go out and I'm going to show you guys how it's done. Let's go ahead and uh... Oh, he's off. Oh. Salilo rod and it is a 10 or 4 to 10 pound uh, rating on there and it's a ultra light rod and this is awesome for the trout fishing because a lot of times there's some big brute stock trout in here they just loaded it with some seven pounders so we're out here trying to get them um, yeah that's the best weight rod that I can recommend